Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to a brand new episode of the um, Breakfast with Sergio show. And today, as you know, we're doing this special edition. And today I'm super excited because I have with me Ariana Camps from Pentington in the West Coast of Canada. She's joining us today to tell her story on how she's adapting, you know, her studio practice as an artist also staying at home. So, Ariana, welcome to the show. Super happy to have you here. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, it's always uh, good to connect and meet more artists as we go all together through this situation. And you and I, we met through social media, which is one yes. of the platforms I think a lot of us are using right now to connect, sure. and to find new friends, make new friends. And it uh, seems like right now we are all in the same boat. So it makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. to make these type of connections. Don't you agree? For sure. Yeah, I found that I've had some really good connections over over social media and over Instagram. And I've met some great friends that I've been able to connect with daily. Right. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. So mm -hmm. you are in the West Coast of Canada. Uh, I am. Let us know a little bit, uh, you know, what's the situation there for you, um, you know, in terms of how long you guys been on lockdown and how has it affected, you know, daily life? Well, basically from spring break, we've been on lockdown. And I happen to live in kind of a rural part of BC. So that's nice because it doesn't take much to get out of town. Mm -hmm. And our family, um, I have five kids and we homeschool. So we were kind of already <laughs> like set up for this really well. And we've yeah. been taking, you know, little trips just to the outskirts of town and, you know, uh, going for walks and going for hikes and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but Canada in general is sort of the last to get anything. Okay. And um, we're, we're right at the tail end of it. Um, I, think, I think that BC was one of the harder hit areas mm -hmm. because um, we're just, we, we do a lot of trade. And I think that mm -hmm. that's, that's, that, quite contributed, that's yeah. why, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's still, still, like I see the numbers in other places and they're much higher than here. Okay. So, so, are you, so are you guys? So on a, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. You know, wishing you all, all the, you know, to to be safe there. Now, mm -hmm. are you guys on a strict lockdown, or you know, are, are like shops and businesses closed, or you know? Yeah. So everything that's non-essential okay. is closed. Um, that's been really hard for a lot of the small businesses here. We're actually a tourist town. So we don't really have any industry in Penticton other than the tourism industry. So that's kind of hard for a lot of businesses. And I think a lot of businesses were feeling, feeling the pinch anyway before. Right. So right. yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I think a lot of people won't be opening their doors. Yeah, totally. And so... Mm -hmm. No, so you have five kids, right? You said? Yeah, so, I do. Wow, that is crazy. So what is the age range? So my kids? oldest, she'll be 12 soon, and my youngest will be five soon. So they're all kind of really <laughs> close together, and they're like a wolf pack. They just <laughs> they love, they love to, to hang out together, so that's good. <laughs> right. So and yeah. as an art, that's awesome. And so and as an artist, mm -hmm. you have your studio at home, which is that's where you're in right now. Exactly. Yes. Um, through the advice of people like yourself and uh, other other artists I've seen, um, I've built the art my art practice mm -hmm. on this online model to begin with, so yeah. that I can be home, so mm -hmm. that I I can work around my family. And um, this year in particular, I really felt like it was important to uh, kind of pull back. Mm -hmm. from trying to get into galleries and trying to get into these other places where I had to send work out. Mm -hmm. And I've really been focusing on the online model and I found um, that so rewarding now yeah. in this time right. to already have like a framework that's mm -hmm. built there for this. I love that. I love that because mm -hmm. again, uh, this is something that as it came, you know, you were already set. You were already set at home, you had your uh, work, you had a framework in which you provide your work to clients through 
uh, online, which fortunately, you know, we still have the web and that's how we are all mm-hmm. connecting and conducting business. And that is yeah. great because when this came, the disruption, you know, was not as critical as maybe someone who may have, you know, to travel, to go to their studio or mm-hmm. be, uh, you know, uh, so, something that got completely, you know, now out of the, out of the, yeah. the list. Yeah. And I think too, it's, it's um, that my audience knows where to find me. Mm-hmm. My audience is online primarily. And um, so that's been great. You know, mm-hmm. they, they know I'm here and they can connect with me here. And right. uh, so, yeah, it was, it was really good. And I mean, my kids do school online. I <laughs> online. So it was like a really, <laughs> we're like, we're built for this. Yeah. Like we're, we can do this together. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, tell a- me, it actually hasn't yeah. been bad. <laughs> That's awesome. So tell me also, you know, how this has affected in the way, uh, you know, that you actually market your art or what are some of the things that you've been doing right now in this season to still connected with your audience and maybe a uh, type of offers or ideas that you are doing with it? Well, um, I so in March when this all mm-hmm. kind of went down because it started around spring break for us, I'd already mm-hmm. committed to doing like a daily art challenge. Oh, nice! So I was doing this daily art anyway, and it was very pop culture centric. Mm-hmm. And um, so I think that's already an easy way to connect with people, stories that they enjoy. And um, so after I'd I'd been doing this, and all of this started happening, I just really focused in and made that like a focal point for, you know, Mm -hmm. yes, every day I'm going to do a, you know, my best work Mm because today might be all you have. Right. So I've really been focusing on doing like daily work and um, doing some paintings that are important to me and really pushing to do like my best work. So I found that people really were connecting to those things and Mm -hmm. um, really my community my local art community too like Mm -hmm. it's been a lot of people in my town have really been um supporting what i've been doing and purchasing these i'm focusing on small works at the moment so something i can do in the time that i have each day Mm -hmm. and um and i've been just so blessed and so thankful Mm -hmm. that um i have I have people around me who care <laughs> because it's been really, really good for, for my family right. and um, really good for my art practice. Right. Being able and to I, sell these daily works. Right. Yeah. And I think that's a wonderful lesson, you know, because sometimes artists throughout this time, they're like, well, should I still, you know, promote, should I still market my art? And I think the answer is yes, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, acknowledge what's happening in the world right now. Don't ignore that because I think that's important. Uh, mm-hmm. Be more of who you are, which is, I think is exactly what you are doing with your audience from what I have been uh, watching. You're using your stories as well. Uh, you know, you're showing up mm-hmm. to your audience in an authentic way. And uh, people, you know, because you're also providing an offer that is accessible, you know, mm-hmm. at a price point level as well, you know, then people a lot of times they want to participate. They want to help. They want yeah. to be part of what you are doing. And if you were just hiding out, you know, then it would make things a lot more difficult. For sure. And I think especially with April, now I'm I'm done with like the pop culture thing. That mm-hmm. was fun. But I really want to connect to people on like you say, an authentic level. And um, so April, what I'm focusing on is my followers, my friends, people who are telling me how they're feeling, what they're going through. I'm going to create my daily works about them, like oh, marrying okay. an image to to what they're feeling and um, and sharing on that basis. So I think it, I am hoping that it'll be like a cathartic way for people to remember this time right. because, and, and, you know, want to remember it in a, yeah, it was, it mm-hmm. was not fun, but mm-hmm. make something beautiful out of that. And yeah. so it's kind of my, my vision is sort of to create something beautiful out of the ashes. Absolutely. Beautifully said. And I think also people who we are connected with right now, we we are providing something meaningful to them. They're going to remember us, you know, when this whole thing is over. And so I think artists are really positioned in a place where we can do that, you know, provide the thing that we do best, which is our art uh, or expression Mm -hmm. so that we can bring also you know, that to others and when others mm-hmm. connect to us and they, you know, connect with us now, 
when this is over, they will remember, you know, you know they will remember Ariana. So, and, you know, mm -hmm. they will uh, follow, continue following you and doing for, um, more of what you are already doing. So I think that mm -hmm. it's a win-win it's a on both sides, I believe. Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Now, I think we can also learn from you something, which because you are a pro at working with five kids at home, <laughs> right? And having your studio at home. So give us some tips yep. on for many of our friends who are like, ah, you know, I'm not used to being at home with my family and so on. You know, what are some yeah. of the pro tips that you have to be able to get work done in the studio while you still mm -hmm. take care of your family? Well, I focus my time um, mostly in, If I'm doing things during the day, it's, you know, I'll, I'll give the kids something to do, like eat a meal or here, watch this quick video and I'll set up whatever I'm going to do later. And I generally work, I do my focusing painting time at night when they're okay. in bed or maybe they're reading or whatever. And so, so if I were, say I was going to do a painting I would do all the prep work, all mm. like layers of gesso and things like that um, In between. when they're, yeah, like during the day. And so then it's ready to go at night and I'll do, I'll do, you know, whatever I'm going to do generally in a couple of hours. I try okay. to, I try to keep it, keep mm. it short, keep it sweet, keep it short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think just embracing the fact that you know, you're not going to get everything done, you know, there's, yeah. and, and getting your, getting your family to help you, yeah. you know, you guys, you want to watch a video, let's watch a video and fold the laundry at the same time or, yeah. right. Just getting them to, to do more mm. really helps in the long run. Excellent. And I think it's part of their education too, right? They, they need to know how to, how to take care of themselves too. Yeah. Wonderful. I think those are really, really mm -hmm. awesome, uh, you know, kind of tips that can help us as well as now we are all kind of working from home. Uh, yeah. Particularly. I love that idea of uh, during the day or in between the day, you just do some of those mundane things that we have to in the studio, the, yeah. the gessoing, the prepping and things like that. And then at night, you know, when it's quiet and that, that's your, uh, your studio time really where you can focus and really do the work that requires your full mm -hmm. attention. Love that strategy. Yeah. I think that's great. Thank you for sharing. Well, Ariana, thank mm -hmm. you so much for, uh, again, for uh, welcoming us in your home studio. For our friends who would like to yeah. find you on Instagram and social media, website, whatever you want to share with us, that would be mm -hmm. awesome. My Instagram is Ariana Camps. So A-R-I-A-N-E and then Camps with a K, K-A-M-P-S. And then it's the same for my website, arianacamps.com. Awesome. Well, my friends, make sure mm -hmm. that you connect with Ariana. Send her a quick message. See if you like this episode, if you want to see what she's doing, of course, uh, check it out and follow her on Instagram. That's where we met. <laughs> That's yeah. where we connected. <laughs> so sure. uh, thank you for watching, my friends. Thank you, Ariana, for your time. Uh, thank you, it was Sergio. Really fun. Absolutely. <laughs> and to all our friends, awesome. thank you so much for watching. We had a great time. Please share this episode with your friends. If you're on Instagram, sharing your stories. Let us know in the comment sections how you like it. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for being here. Have a good day. Goodbye.